Hello, this is a video for Finna Bear and uh, this is Katja. Today I will alter one of the uh, rustical uh, alarm clock, a mechanical one. And you see here I have one uh, of these gorgeous uh, metallic alarm clocks from Finna Bear. And we will do something fun with it today. Metal frame alarm clock from Finnabe. Yes, and you see uh, the alarm clock, it's so uh, perfect made, so you can uh, take off the back side. So we will uh, create something fine and uh, I will add some uh, texture on it. We start with the texture paste from Finnabe and you see my jar is a little bit dry but uh, I have some water in it and stir it so it works perfect I think then. It's a heat summer days, uh, this can happen. And you see me adding randomly uh, the paste with my fingers. So uh, yes, randomly I want a texture on my frame some places a little bit more and uh, but overall almost everywhere I have this and uh, I leave it for drying. The same I will do the back side what will show. Here I use uh, graphite texture paste. Uh, it's a little bit more fine texture and the texture paste um, the other one, it's a more bigger texture and this is more fine. And you see, I have some um, shipboard and some metallic and I will add them in the back side as my decoration. And I add even more graphite paste uh, and I work before the texture paste is dry. And now you see me adding uh, some more shepherd, like uh, in the background. And I add them to the not dry texture paste yet. So when it dry, it uh, will glue in the same time uh, because it's not so heavy details. So I only stick them there and put them in the, in the paste and they will dry together. Uh, so I start and I glue everything with 3D gloss gel. I even have some uh, decorations made of mm -hmm. resin with uh, some molds from Prima. I also have some um, seashells. Yes, because I want this alarm clock look almost uh, like it have come from the sea bottom. So I'm adding seashells. And I leave the backside for drying. And now I will have something in the bottom here on the clock. And I add simply add some baby wipes and 3D gloss gel and some lace in small pieces to add some uh, fabric like uh, like a sea bottom and here some shells and they are pretty heavy there and you see it's a little bit difficult for me to make a video uh, because it's not dry and uh, to show you how I did and the day when I do this video it's a very sunny and, and uh, warm day uh, and you see the sun is coming on my window this day uh, I also add uh, a, a bottle, uh, a, a brown bottle from Finnabar. I was leaving this for drying and you see I don't have the, the sun in the window anymore. And you see here, uh, it's not really dry yet, uh, but it was uh, going a couple of hours and almost dry. The back side, I think it's almost dry, so I start and work with it. I have some uh, uh, metallic paint and also these are a little bit too dry. So I add a little bit uh, water 
and stir them and they will work fine for me. Perhaps it sounds strange, but I like to mix gold and silver. I don't have a problem with it. And you see me, I here have gold rush. Uh, I do it and I don't paint uh, with it perfectly um, because I don't want it goldy. I want it to be uh, like a golden shiny effect. Uh, like a treasure, like... Um, uh, yes, like a treasure, like gold and shimmering on something from the bottom of the sea. Uh, that's why I mix gold and silver. I also have some emerald green because I believe uh, in the sea it has been green and a little bit more dark. So you see me, I paint uh, some because to uh, have uh, the details a little bit standing off from the background. Now I think it was a little bit too shiny and I want to pick up the pink from the spoon, uh, like look at shell, like a seashell also. Uh, that's why I painted a little bit with the impasto paint in the background to have a little bit pink. Now I go on with the sparks color and uh, it, when it's not dry I spray on it and I also add marmite sparkle and when I spray on the sparks um, it will get so so shiny it's like a silver shiny powder that's leave it it's so glittery and shiny it's unbelievable you must uh, test it. I also had some waxes on and you see me here adding on, playing around and uh, it's uh, a little bit uh, like that. So I'm adding a little, little bit uh, of uh, sisal to make it more like a sea finding from the sea. Uh, yes, I believe in the alarm clock. Uh, there was my uh, shells and the treasure and the treasure was pearls so I'm adding some pearls with the 3D glossy here in the middle uh, I want them to be like uh, randomly like a treasure there um, yes I'm thinking to add a little bit little bit gold there are some 3D gloss yell uh, uh, sticking out here and there and I simply add a little bit of the uh, micro beads and also I have some vintage gold and uh, silver uh, brushed iron wax and here I mix both uh, silver and gold now it's time to add some paint uh, for the inside and I have liquid acrylic paint, a few drops and I add spray some water with a water spray bottle and it's so difficult to show you because the inside is not really dry yet. Uh, I had a problem with that and when I add water it's still so you see me, I uh, spray water, uh, have a little bit paint and uh, play around with the two colors. Uh, and it's a really, really gorgeous color and blue and um, uh, a little bit tur turquoise. Really great. So I spray and add uh, paint and it doesn't need so much paint and it's uh, really flow really nice. To add some contrast, I have the color Burnt Sienna in liquid acrylic paint. And you see here, I add a little bit paint and my, my surface is wet. So you see what's happened with the paint? It's flow by itself. Yes, it's so fun. And I add on some places here and there because I want it to look a little bit rusty or more look like that so that was so easy to make 
I have some shipboard from Snippart and I want to emboss them and I have some golden and I'm not uh, looking out for a perfect look for the heat embossing. Uh, some places more and some places less. And that's it's just the way how I want it. Uh, the color is a little bit more dry. My bottle there doesn't inside one doesn't want to really stay there. So you see, I have some problem. That's uh, it can be. I add a little bit on the soft brush, some uh, white heavy gesso, and do some br uh, dry brushing to highlight some places a little bit. So. Uh, it doesn't look so tealy and, and even. I want it to be do some more contrast. And you see, I have a really problem here. Um, I also add some uh, vintage gold wax here and there. I don't choose special places, just randomly. And uh, now I uh, pick out my elements. I have my shipboards, some uh, L uh, labels with the text, and um, also some seahorses uh, from some traveling years ago, and some branches and gears. Yes, and all my metallics embellishments, they are from Finnebar. Just gorgeous, and many of the decoration. Uh, here I have some old Prima decoration, and it's look like it's um, like wings and like that motor. So add them. So here I use some Prima products um, later on. Here it's look like a, I don't know in English a propeller, um, and I add. Do some layering here and add my details. Um, I anchor and I use the 3D glass gel. Um, it's perfect with the 3D glass gel because it doesn't need to be comp uh, take a little bit time before you, it dries. And it's perfect because then you can move it around and test it and decide how you want it. So alarm clock need to have some alarms and uh, wings and uh, details I'm adding around. And you see me, I'm working horizontal here from one side to other. So I have three of the seahorses. So I take these gorgeous seahorses from um, some trip some years ago from um, Greece, I think, or I think it was Greece that they come from. I also add some uh, leaves and uh, details and I stick them around. Um, yeah, and I think I'm finished. And you see, I'm adding some elements under the shipboard so it uh, will stay and stick better here. Now it's time for some mini art stones. I still have the 3D uh, glass gel and I add it so I add some extra here and there and I sprinkle the mini art stones to give some extra texture and uh, I wanted to dry. Time for the back side. Uh, so it will show my pearls will stay there and I think it's just gorgeous with the texture. I have some more metal embellishments and I want to add them on the sides. And my composition and everything is not really dry yet so couldn't really show you. I have some um, screws and I add these brown uh, already rusted screws um, some places here and there um, to make uh, the details. 
and I need to have some details on the upper side and you see me playing and um, adding them and now I have some 3D glass but I doesn't care because I add the mini art stones around it. Okay, I think now everything is uh, really dry. I want to add some uh, more burnt sienna and I honestly did two times because when the burn uh, when it's dry the color fade a bit. So I add the burnt sienna uh, on the mini art stones and for a bit contrast and to make it a bit rusty I add, I spray water and I add it twice to make it more rustical and dark. Yes, I think it's finished. Now it's need to be dry and I'm happy, so happy if you uh, have see come this so far on my video. And now you see how the mini art stones is around the screws and about uh, around the details to make it like Yes, small, small stones. Yes, I really love this nautical uh, alarm clock and hope you enjoy it too. So see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.